you mentioned how you've grown attached to the character of Bella. Do you think she's selfish in this movie? Yeah, and as is Jacob and Edward. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why the girls are really sort of singled out. Maybe she's the main character. But I think one of the most important things to, one, one thing that I've actually like maybe subconsciously taken from this whole thing and, and just being a reader of the books, like you have to, you have to keep yourself in mind first. I mean, everybody thinks that she would do anything for Edward and that everything's all about him and that she would die for him. But it's that it's for her. It's, it's her, it's for her love of him. It's not, it's not his personal well-being. It's, it's her own, really, if you break it down. Um, so yeah, she's selfish, but I mean, that's the only way, I mean, that's the only way to be honest. Yeah, I guess just as a, as a guy, just, I immediately sort of sympathized totally. with Jacob. Totally. I mean, I, she's honest with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like she's never, ever. I, it, here's the thing is, it would be nice of her and very considerate uh, to like discontinue, to cease sort of, to, to acknowledge that this is hard for him and to just stop. But what they get from each other, if they can both just get past what they're going through now, benefits them in the long run. It's the most fruitful relationship that she'll probably ever have. I mean, I don't know if you know about Breaking Dawn, but he's not for her. I mean, and he comes to realize that. And so if, it, you know, if, if she were to like be nice and unselfish and end the friendship, it would be like they would both be losing something, so. Uh, now that you're a little over halfway through this journey, um, can you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Or are you? You know, can you see the point where you'll be able to say goodbye to this character? Yeah, it's sort of like the same with every with every character that I play. I mean, this is just longer, so I, I'm not thinking about that yet. Like with, with I just played Joan Jett, I had five weeks to play her. And, um, and only two weeks before that to consider playing her. Uh, so they're, they're, there's the difference. It's it, there's the difference in doing a franchise as opposed to doing these smaller movies. It's just more time. Um, so I don't see the light yet at all, and I'm like so lucky that I get to like stay here. I mean, I like I like her.